All right, guys, so you've seen a little bit of my stuff going on in my solar container and collections of lithiums and 12 volt stuff. Well, <sighs> been a while, but uh, it's time for these uh, LG chem cells to uh, be put to good use. So I'll just kind of mock this one up, this front cage that holds the uh, cell cover on will come off so we can get access to terminals. And then we only have one, oh, Milwaukee lights going flat. Um, we only have one terminal on the back side that we've got to be able to get to after I check these BMS wires. But these are 10S 180 amp hour LG cam pouch cells. So to make a 48 volt brick, we need to add three more in series. That's what we've got here. So these are the cells. Two hundred and eighteen watt hours each, so we're about six sixty. About two thirds of a kilowatt hour per brick. And they're these modular little things that all slide together like so. So I have twenty of these. It's like 180 kilowatt hours. That Milwaukee torch is really flat. Just for doing flashing like that with a six O. Anyway. My plan is either above or below mount the three brick with this brick. That'll give me 13 in series, 180 amp hours, which is 13 series, three parallel. At least four mounted up on the wall just real quickly to see what they're like. I'm going to pull all this down, um, pull this shelf off and down as well, and move that over to this corner, just out of the way. That'd be like the last thing in the row we'll get that shelf out of the way so i can do a row of them the whole way across the container um like we are up there nice and high and out of the way the main reason they're up high is it doesn't really stop me putting stuff below them in the container and they're not in my way so i'm not really wasting that much space because everything i put on the container at my head height or above or close to is like everything above like that height is is awesome it's just an unused space really um also out of my awesome fans that i've got these k fans which are a fan of a um fan of a bitcoin miner i've got like ten thousand of these i've got an ebay listing if you want some i'll send you some nice and cheap like five bucks each um but they're a super high powered four wire um fan and uh, I 3D printed these cool duct adapters, which I should really be selling as well. They're really cool. So they go from a 140 mil fan to a um, four inch duct. You can put flex duct on them. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna mount um, one of these up high uh, to take the heat out of the container. And then we'll go to that end of the container and up with a, um, like a, I'm not going to say a chimney, but kind of like a chimney um, that'll shoot the heat up out of the container. And um, we might um, make a spot down near the door somewhere, which can be the air intake for the container, which has got a air filter on it. So that's uh, like a cheap cartridge filter flat in the door. So that when the door is actually shut up properly, it uh, only passes in like semi dust free air. So 20 of these is insane. Um, we're talking up in the yeah, 180 odd kilowatt hours. So that's roughly 8.6 kilowatt hours a brick. Um, so we'll call that a module. It's a 13S module when we put all them together. I was going to put these up on the wall. Uh, these come in a 20S brick. So it's down here somewhere. I just couldn't lift them <laughs> i couldn't pick them up and put them on the wall by myself so that's why we split these um i have got so 20 of these and i have got 60 cells like this to make the complete 20 bricks so yeah should be uh should be a fair old upgrade from uh the current stuff we've got in this uh shed and, uh, and then we'll have to play the solar game and make enough solar to uh, charge it. 
We've got the top of this container that doesn't really have anything on it. It's just got a couple of panels sitting there, which we'll do a split phase orientation. So we'll so that's north. And what we'll do is we'll do a east and then west TP kind of thing on top of this container. Um, then I need a 48 volt inverter and then I need a charge controller. So I'm going to try and do two birds with one stone and do a um, 10 kilowatt all in one on the wall to begin with and uh, see what I can do with that. So, yeah, you're going to see some videos soon of some more cells on the wall. And this is just the first couple that I got up today. Um, I would probably do the same thing where I run the run the board right through because that allows me to uh, put cabling and stuff like that on it. My other question is, anyone that's done something similar to this, should I do a 48 volt BMS on every single pack? Whether that's a 40, 60, 80 amp, whatever, BMS. Just do one on every pack and then put a circuit breaker where the pack joins a bus bar or not a bus bar, uh, where it joins a rail and um, have them all independent. I'm thinking I'm going to do that, have them all independent bricks and then I can start building them as I go and um, I don't have to do 20 at once kind of thing. I can just kind of work my way across the wall, setting them up. So I think that's the go. Um, I've got some stuff that can do 48 volt charging. They can do 48. That, um, got two of those as well. They can do 48. Uh, I haven't got a great deal of things that can use 48, but that's okay too. We, uh, it's going to take a little while for the 3 kilowatt solar array on the shed to charge this uh, monster anyways. But uh, it's going to take me even longer to discharge it. So yeah, we have some shelves and stuff to pull out in the shed just to make some space. I might even put these in, a, in the corner. I might put the two of them in the corner so that they're like a V shape because I only open one door. There's no need to open the other door. Nothing big really comes in here other than stuff that's in here, which needs to, a lot of it needs to go. I like micro inverters and stuff like that that I probably don't need or get rid of. It's lead acid batteries that we can get rid of. We're about done with lead acids. I'm sick of them dying. And uh, yeah, we're much better off playing with the stuff we're playing with. These are all lithium ion phosphate. So that's cool as well. But yeah, this is what we got. This is what we're gonna pull out and uh, stick some more of them on the wall. There's 20 of that going up there. And uh, yeah, hopefully they'll last me 10 years and I'll pull absolutely tons of energy in and out of them. That is my goal. And uh, if that happens, this will be a worthwhile project. Um, I got them fairly cheap. They're out of a Kia Nero uh, electric vehicle. So yeah, thanks for watching. I'll catch you in the next video. And uh, hopefully we'll see some more of this happening soon. Because uh got to get this done well before winter because I want to get those nice solar sunny days stored so that it's just free energy because at the end of the day, the energy is going to keep going up. Save yourself some money, guys. Bank some uh, solar and batteries in and collect that sun power. Catch you on the next one.